what's up guys war nickel revolution here back at you with another video and today i just wanted to show you some of the nickels i have in my collection these are not all nickels um i think there's a few quarters in here but i wanted to show you some of the nickels in my collection that i thought were pretty nice or low mintage or proofs stuff like that that i would um want to show you guys and I'm actually going to do something in this video that I really haven't done in the past videos is actually put some of these that are in flips into my collection if I need them in like a spot in one of my collections. I've got this nice dance go album right here worth um, seeing if I needed any of these to put in my collection. These are our low mintage key date nickels that could be going to my collection. I need like the 39D, the 39S, the 40D, the 40S, the 41D, uh, 46 plain, 46D, 46S, 47 plain, 47D, 47, oh I have the 47S looks like. I need the 48D, the 49 plain, the 50D which I still don't have in any of my collections, the 51S, I need another one of those to put in my collection. 51 or 52 plain, 52D, 53 plain, 53D, 54 plain, 54D. So, like a lot of them in my collection, I need. And I actually have two collections, not just the Dance Go album. I have another one right here Jefferson Nichols, 1938 to 1961. Uh, Harrisburg or Harrison Co. album. So I'm missing some there too. Some more nickels I'm missing in there. Uh, 38D, 38S, 39D, 39S. I'm pretty sure I have some of those in this pile that's in front of us. Looks like I need a 30 or 46S in there as well. I have one of those in this pile, I know that. 49S, I don't know if I have one in this pile because it's pretty low mintage, 9.6 million, or 9.7 million, excuse me. A 51S, 7.8 million, I know I have one in this pile for sure, we can fill that space. Uh, but on this last page here, it's completely full, so I don't need to put anything in there. But this one's pretty full, pretty full album, I guess. But anyways, anyways I'll be showing you coins from this pile and trying to fill up this album today. And I'll show you if I'm putting something in a spot, so you know. But anyways, let's continue and see what uh, nickels we have. So here's a 51D. It's pretty worn, pretty worn shape. It's got some ring of death on there, or a ring from the coin machine on there. But it is a 51D, so that's good. We got a 53S, low mintage. Not sure if I need that one for my book or not. We will check though, and I'll be right back. Well guys, I looked in both the albums and um, we have them in both collections, but the one I have in my dance go is actually way significantly better than the one I just pulled out. Uh, 53S compared to the one I already have in there. You can see them like a side-by-side -side comparison. The uh, one I have in the album is actually a really nice one and the one right here is definitely in the worst for wear shape I guess I mean it's still a date if I needed it for my collection but um, I don't you know I'm not gonna replace it with the one that's already in there because the one that's in there is pretty nice Let's see the back side of that just to see what it looks like so this is the back side of that coin uh, I'm not seeing any steps on it whatsoever, but it is in better shape than most, and it is an S. You can see the S right there. Very small, but there it is. Cool. We will keep looking for coins, and just stay tuned, I guess. All right, here's something worth showing you guys. It's a 1994 S. You know, I found this in circulation. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's... You know, it's definitely, you can tell it's been in circulation, but it's still a proof, which is cool. Definitely a cool one. Here's another um, proof 
found in circulation, 1989S. I would say this one's probably in better shape than that other one, the 94. 94 is pretty, pretty extreme. And if you notice that I didn't push these staples down, it's not because I just didn't want to. I mean, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> I didn't want to. Um, I don't know. It's because I want to like take these out someday and put them in a collection, and I just want to make it easier on myself. Uh, here's a 47S. I mean, I know we need that one, I think, for one of these collections. Let's just look real quick. Oh, it's not the 47 in this uh, Harris book album. It's the 46S that we need. So I'll keep looking for that one. I'm sure I have one in here, 46S. In the collection. Let's see if we can find one of those real quick and then take it out of the uh, container. Here's another 40, uh, 53S. It's in better shape than that last one. Here's a Lowell Quarter W. Found that in circulation, that was pretty nice. And it wasn't in a um, uncirculated box either. It was in a circulated box. So you see all these YouTubers out there looking through uncirculated boxes, pulling out all the W's. Just know that they still exist. You can still find them out there. They're not super uncommon. I mean, they're uncommon, but they're not, you know, super, super rare. Like you're not going to get any. It's a possibility you could just get in some and change one day. Who knows? It's a 52S, low mintage one. Some discoloration, but it's still an S. Something I don't usually get. Um, I know I saw a 40, 46S in here somewhere, so I can find that one real quick. Like I said, another 47S, 48S, Canadian nickel that I thought was cool, 61 plane, 50D, 51D. Oh, here's a nice um, 46S I actually bought. I don't know if I'll put it in that collection though because it's just nice, so nice. It's got a lot of steps on the back of the Monticello. Let me just zoom in for you guys a little bit so you can see that better. Look how many steps that's got. Just, just a few, just a couple. But yeah, it's a pretty nice coin. Got it from a coin store. It's got some Tony on it, just a tiny bit. It's cool. Someone said an MS64. I don't know if that's MS64, but hey. Let's just keep looking through nickels and see if we can find that uh, 46S I was talking about besides that one that I know I have in here. There's another 47, 47. Uh, 55 plain. It's a pretty nice one. I already have that one in uh, my Harris book, but let's just check out the dance go. Let's see if I need it in the dance go. Let me see, 55 plane. Do we need it? Nope, it's in there already. It's already in there. Let me show you guys. 55 right there. It looks like we need the Denver though, which won't be that hard. Because I find quite a bit of 55 Denvers. But here's the 55 other plane one. It's pretty worse for wear. Once again, but that one is the better one, so I'm glad it's in the dance go. Let's continue though. Look for that uh, 46S still. Uh, 47 again. For uh, 63P proof. You got some 58 Philadelphia low mintage coins in here. What is this one? Oh, 52 San Francisco. Another 48, or 58, sorry. It's a uh, 1963 proof from Philadelphia. It's decent. Definitely has been in circulation for a while, but it's 
it's decent still. Forty six S. There we go. Here it is. <laughs> found found the one I was looking for. Forty six S. This one's in uh pretty pretty decent shape. You can still see a lot of um the lines in his hair and things like that. It's not majorly damaged or anything. It's definitely worn, it's just not super damaged. So I'm definitely gonna put this one in the Harrisburg album. I'll be right back when I take it out of this flip and put it in the album. Be right back, guys. So here we are, guys, back with the album. Uh, looks like coins want to fall, fall out of there. That's not good. Got a 38 Philly that fell out. And we have a 1940 Denver that keeps falling out. I don't know. I'm going to have to find a better one to fit in there. Because that one wants to keep falling out. But here's the 46S spot. And here's the 46... S that we just got out of that container. We'll put that right in there. Cool. Another spot filled. Still need some other ones. But these ones are going to be really hard to fill. These ones down here. We've got a 49S, a 50D. Still haven't found it. And once I do find it, it's not even going to end up in here. And a 51 San Francisco, which is also hard to find. I've only found one. And it's in my Jefferson portrait that I have full of nickels. But yeah, uh, I guess we'll just focus on trying to find some more war nickels to get in here. I, they're not in this pile that's underneath this book right now. The war nickels aren't, at least. But I've got rolls of them. We can look through the rolls for um, those war nickels that need to go in this book. See, I'm missing some over here too. I have a 42D, I think might be in this pile, so I can put that in there. But a uh, 42 plain silver variety, we'll look for that in the War Nickels and all these other ones, like the 44D, or sorry, the 43D and the 44D, as well as the 44S, the 45P, and the 45S. Anyways, guys. These ones will be really hard to find too, the 39D, the 39S, the 38D, and the 38S. Those are key dates, they're hard to find, they're low mintage. 38D with 5.4 million, the 38S with 4.1 million, the 39D with 3.5 million, the 39S with 6.6 .6 million. So definitely really hard to find those ones, but um, it's possible. They could be in my collection, I'm not really sure. <laughs> To be honest, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll see. Well, guys, I pulled some more things out of my collection. I thought you guys would be interested. In. This is a shield nickel, pretty nice shape overall. Considering it's from 1869, it's in uh, better shape than most shield nickels you can find. Uh, here's the one that I bought at a coin show. It's a 1943, not a coin show, a coin shop. Uh, it's a 43D, which is like the hardest war nickel you can get. It says it has faint lamination cracks, but um, I'm not seeing where those are. It's a nice coin though, for sure. Um, just took a bunch of war nickels out of my collection. I put them in flips. I don't know why I did because they're not in that great a shape. But if we need them for my book, I can just take them out of these flips and put them in my book. 45D, 43P, another 43P, 45P, another 45P, 43P. I didn't buy any of these ones. I bought this one, this really nicer one, but I never. Yeah, I never bought any of these war nickels. They're just the ones I found in circulation. 44P. Uh, here's a 42D non-silver that I might be putting in my collection because I definitely need that one. Uh, let me see where. I don't need it in the Dansko, but I need it in the Harris. 
Harris Co. album, 1942D. Yep, need, needed in that one, but I think I have a better example of that one in here somewhere. A 42D non-silver. There we go. I think this one's better. I don't know. They're pretty. They're both pretty worn. But if you need that spot, the fill. I got two examples. We can fill it with. The. Uh, it's pretty low mintage to with 13.9 million, but it's not the lowest mintage ever. It's just pretty low. Interesting. So one of these two, I'm gonna put in that spot in my collection. Let's just take the book out again so you can see. See that 42 Denver? I need that spot. I put up uh, these weird values by um, everything, like 250 or something like that, um, next to each spot, just based off of random facts, that, or not facts, you know, figures I would get off the internet, which aren't really trustworthy at all. But I did that early on in collecting, so this is my first Jefferson album book I got from Barnes & Noble when I was just new into collecting I'm like you know what this is worth that this is worth that and some of these coins I have in flips have little values next to them and everything like that but they're not really worth the amount I put by there so just don't don't um don't even look at those <laughs> other things I wanted to show you guys just uh Liberty Head Nichols that's a pretty nice one 1902 it's got some scratches but you can almost see Liberty up here you can see the R and the T and Liberty there's another one, 1910. There's another one, 1907. Another one, 1900. It's really worn. I think this is the one I actually found. Yeah, I found this in like an old coin jar. It's just super worn. <laughs> 1907. Another 1910 one. That's actually in pretty nice shape, actually. You can see Liberty. You can see a lot of hair details. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyways, let's just keep looking for stuff to put in the album. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna turn the camera off here and take this one out of the case so I can put it into the collection. But I'll be right back with the next finds to put in the collection. So here's the spot for the 42 guys, just got this out. 42. It's got a big scratch down the face of um, Jefferson, but still, 42D doesn't come up that often. Putting that in the book. Cool. Now we still need the 42P, the 42S, a bunch of war knuckles, 44D, 43D. But yeah, let's go find those, and I'll update you when I find another one to put in spot. Oh, well, guys, I just took this 44 philly out of my collection or out of one of the flips and i think it's actually nicer than the one i have in my um harris book album or harris co album the 44 in there i have it has lamination cracks on it so i think i'll be taking that one out yeah there we go replacing it with this one bam Got him. <laughs> now it's in there. Looks pretty nice. 43S that I have in there is pretty nice too, actually. Just uh, discolored, but uh, a lot of the detail is still there and strong. So anyways, another one to add to the collection. Let's continue. Well, guys, we need a 43D for the Harrisburg collection. I'll just show you. Or not Harrisburg. I keep calling it the Harrisburg <laughs> collection. <laughs> but the... Um, Harris Co. Collection, right there. We need 43D, which is the lowest mintage or enough where you can find. Let's just put that one in there. I found one, so 43D in the collection. Nice. Just need a few of them left. We need some 42s. We need a 44. We need a. 45p, which I actually have in this pile over here. Pile of war knuckles. So 43p, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 45, is that a p? Yeah, it is. 45p going in the collection. There we go. 
another font spot filled. Need a 45S. Let's see if I can find one of those real quick. Here's some more Eccles. I just took a bunch out of a flips. So 43, 43, 43, 43. This is one. 44. We need a 44S and we need a 44D. But it's the 44P, so we don't need that one. 44 or 45D. Do we need that? No, we got it already. 43S. I already have that one. The 43s, I've got them all. 43P, 43D, and 43S in this collection. 45D, already got it. 45P, already got it. 44P, already got it. 43, it's probably a P. No, 43S, still got it. 43, P, already have it, 45, P, already have it. We'll, we'll try to find any other War Knuckles I have, but I'll be right back if we find it. I decided to take a little break from going through the collection to show you some nicer coins that I have in my collection. Here's a 1939 P. It's in really good shape, as you can see. We got a 1938. It's also in very good shape, great shape as I wrote on here. It is a low mintage coin, so it's considerably in um, good shape for being, you know, however many years old it is. It's like 90 years, right? Not 90 years, 80 years. It's got a lot of luster still left on it. And does it have steps? I'm not really sure. Let's zoom in there. No, no steps. It's still a nice coin overall, for sure. We got a 44, or not 44, 40 Philly. That's got full steps, as the description says on it. Let's see if it actually does. Zoom in. I don't know if it's got full steps. I don't know why I wrote that on there, but it's got quite a few, as you can see. It's got a lot of damage on the steps too though. It's a nicer coin though, regardless. And then we got a, I already mentioned this one, yeah, 39 Philly. It's really nice. It's probably nicer than that 40, 1940. But anyways, let's keep on searching through the nickels to see if we can find more to fit in the collections. Well, guys, I thought I was going to go through more War Nickels after the, that uh, last part, but um, I found another 46S, which I need for my Dance Go album. So I'll be throwing that in there. It's right here, 46S. It's a blank space, not by Taylor Swift. But <laughs> anyways, I'll um, throw that in there in just a second. Be right back. So guys, we got it out fairly easily. Here it is, out of the case, 1946. San Francisco, it's pretty worn, rough shape, but we'll still put it in there because it fills a spot. Think about these Dansko albums. I don't know if I've really shown you guys in depth or what, but um, there's like this little plastic piece that comes out on both sides of the coin in here, so that's how you slide them in and out. You just take that off. If it's an empty space, you just put it in there. And then there's uh, another plastic sheet behind this one. It keeps it all sealed in there. It's kind of nice. Dance Go albums are kind of expensive though, so I don't know if I'd recommend them or not. Uh, definitely recommend the Harris Co. albums. I think they're a really good buy. Just, you know, really cheap to put your collection in, but if you want to really like nickels, I guess, like I do. That's why I bought a Nichols um, album to put all my Jefferson Nichols in. But um, let's just keep on searching and see what else we can find to put in the collection. I was just looking at this one. It's a 41D and I actually need this one for my collection. It's in uh, pretty nice shape compared to some of the ones we've been putting in the album. Uh, a lot of Mountainous Jellos have been completely slick. 
So it's good to find another one that's in uh, pretty nice shape to put in the dance go. I mean, it's a nicer set or um, case to put the nickels in. As you can see, we filled in a lot of um, war nickels in that past live stream I just did on the channel. Just pulling out war nickels to throw them in here. And I got the nicest war nickel I've ever found in here, 1942P. Threw that in there. But still got a lot of like other ones to go. Like the 47D of plain and D, they're not um, rare at all. They're pretty common. And I've got completely full rolls of nickels to go through to put them in there. I don't think I'll be going through these ones though in this video to find the 47 plain and D or any of the of the other common ones. We got, we got like a 46 plain and a 46 D we need to put in there too. I just don't think I'll be going through those to find the coins I need. Otherwise this video is going to be extremely long. It's probably already long already. But um, that's just what I'm doing. thought you guys would be interested. So that's why I'm filming this today. But let's just keep on searching for things that we need. Okay, I guess. I don't know if I showed you this before. It's the 42D um, non-silver variety. But uh, there's that one. I don't know if I showed you that already. So It's a 38 plain that I just kept because it's low mintage. Got a 52 San Francisco. Another one that kept because it's low mintage. I don't think we need a 52 in the dance go though. If we do, I'll throw it in there, but if we don't... Oh, we do! Huh! Look at that! Show you guys right now. 52D. Right there. We need that one. So we'll throw that one in there. Because why not? Anyways, I'll show you guys something else if I need to put it in my book. So there we go. It's in there now. Cool. 51S I also need in here. 50D. Still haven't found one. <laughs> That's why it's blank. Uh, but 52 plain, I'm sure I've got plenty of those in my more common rolls that I have in these jars. But, um, and, and probably the 53, 53D, I don't think is low mintage. But if it is, somehow I find it in this pile. I'll end up putting it in here and showing you guys. But you got a 54 plain and a 54D. I know those are uncommon. I mean, not uncommon. Common as heck. <laughs> So is the 54S, they made a lot of those, and 54D and plain. But they definitely more made more 54Ds and planes than they made S's. But it's not uncommon, it's not below 25 million minted or anything like that. So that one is already in there. For some reason, I guess I took out the 54 Denver and the 54 plane, but there's, those are our common, so we'll be able to find those, no problem. So is the 55D, the 56D, 57D and the 58. Well, the 58 plane, we've actually got some of those in here, so just find one real quick, which I just did. Found this one. We can throw that one in there. Cool. Awesome. We found another one we can put in the dance go. That's sweet. So here it is, guys. We took it out of the container. Ba bam. It's not a too bad of condition one either. So I'll just throw that in there. So what I do is just slip. This plastic piece out like so take it and pop it in make sure it's straight and then slide that thing back in not that hard to put this stuff together but um there you go another one to add to the collection 58 plane is definitely lower mitch's nickel to put in here and definitely a, a pretty good find looks like we're missing the 60d Still, we're going to find a good example of those. Definitely don't take those out of circulation when I go through a box. The next time I go through a box, definitely should find one and just take it out and put it in this place right here. Another thing this book has in it is like um, just nicer 60s coins like 64, 65, 64, 64. 38. <laughs> that's kind of out of place, isn't it? But it's nicer 38, so that's why it's in here. Let's see what's on these other pages, I forget. Different coins of low mintage quality. That could be in going to different places of the book. We got a 1950 right here. 50 plain. 
Jedi 51, it's probably a Denver. Got another 1950 plane. Got a 38 in here, another 38. Got a 52, 38, a lot of 38s. I want to put in here just because they're lower and should... Not sure what that is. Okay, that one's a 46. It's probably a 46S. That's probably why I put it in there. Yeah, it's a 46S. And then on this page, we got more nickels. More probably lower vintage nickels. Threw them in here just because. But I think that's pretty much all I can fill. Um... Because all, I know these are all like a, a lot of estimate mark coins and coins we probably already have in there. Like the 51S, do we need that one? Oh yeah, we do need that one. I mean, I was just mentioning that, wasn't I? There's the 51S right there. We need to fill that space. So this is the one I actually bought or something like that. Yeah, I bought this 51S for 75 cents. I knew that didn't look like my handwriting. <laughs> but, um... I'll add this one to the collection just because I've got it, and there it is. So there we have it, guys. The 51S is now in its spot. That's good. Got uh, a lot of other coins right here. Might as well show you what they are because they're laying out. We got a 52S, which we already have in the book, so we don't need that one. Uh, I mean, they're good to have, these lower midgets coins. We have a 47S and a 48, both low midgets. Good coins to have for sure. I'm glad I have all these coins in my collection just because you never know when you're going to need the extras. But I might have an auction soon maybe to sell off these low mint coins because I just have a lot of extras. And they are hard to find in nickel boxes. Could take you a while, years maybe, to find some of these. And if you guys wanted, I could, you know, just sell them off to you. It's a 56 Philly that's in good shape. Got a 51D low mintage one for sure. We got 53S low mintage. Got this proof. That was a weird proof we found. 1963 Philadelphia proof. The backside is better to show that it's proof like. It's a good strike except for the damages on it. Looks like someone put a candle to it. Like burned it, burned its surface. Here's a, another 56 that's got a lot of luster still left on it. Nice coin. Got a 39 again, 39P. Just a good shape coin, no double die reverse on that one or anything. Got a, another 38. Got a lot of 38s, I guess. Uh, 64, that's a nicer shape. Uh, you know, everyone's got to hate those 64s because you find them so often, but pretty nice regardless. Here's a Canadian coin that I was very happy to find when I found it on a live stream. It's a, this is like a buffalo nickel, American, but it's a 1933 Canadian 5 cents with the ginormous 5 on there and this old looking lettering of Canada 5 cents. I don't know, I just love it so much. It's got King George V on it. It's probably one of my favorite finds while um, coin roll hunting nickels. I find a lot of newer Canadians, not a lot of older ones like this, so this is a very good find. Uh, 1947S, got another one of those, 53S, 58P, another low mintage one, another 63 Philadelphia proof, another 38 Philadelphia. 42 non-silver, 51, another low mintage, 51 uh, Denver that is. If it's not Denver, it's not low mintage. And the 53, uh, the 51S that we just put in the collection, that one's a pretty good one too. Definitely don't find a lot of those. And I'm not sure what the mintage is. Let me just look that up right quick. The mintage on the 51 is or the 51S is 9.7 million, so it's pretty low. Um, the 1950 plane is also that low with um, 5 point, or 9.8 million. And then the 50D with 2.6 million, still haven't found one of those. 
And I don't know, I'm just kind of annoyed about it, to be honest. <laughs> Here's a 53S, low mintage. Another 53S, low mintage. 51 Denver. Another 38. Gotta love those 38s. 52S. 47S. 58P. 40S. I think I actually need that one for my collection. I keep bringing this up, but yeah, I need that one for my dance go. Bam, as you can see. I'm gonna throw that one in there. It's a pretty nice one, too. A lot of luster still left on that coin. But we'll do that, and then we'll continue looking through this pile of nickels, but I'll be back soon, guys. So we just got the 40S out of the container. Uh, 40S isn't a low mintage coin, but it's definitely... This one is in good shape. Um, not the best of shape, no steps or anything, but you can see the Monticello building and its windows pretty clearly. You can definitely see that estimate mark right there, so that's nice. And we'll definitely be throwing this in the dance go. So, let's bring you over there real quick. Take this thing out of here. Another spot filled. Feel accomplished. <laughs> Just buy a little adding nickels to a collection. We almost We only have two more spaces left. We got the 38S and the 38D in here, which is really hard to get. Those are some key dates, those two. And I'm glad they're in here, but uh, and you still need the 39D and the 39S. I have a 39S floating around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is at the moment. But um, we keep we keep filling her up, so that's good. Anywho, what else we got over here? We got this War in the Pacific. W I found in a circulated box. That was good. Got another W here. Quarter. Um, low L. Design. Also found that in another box of quarters. So yeah. If you're really discouraged in finding W's. Dude it's happened to me in circulated boxes of nickels. So it can happen to you too. It's a 47 plane I think. Yeah it's got full steps so that's a really nice one as you can see let's zoom in a little bit so you can see better yep there we go you can see the full steps on there pretty strongly anywho we actually need that one for the dance go once again it's got a spot right there it's blank so anyways we'll get this out of the flip and put that in there all right got the coin in question out of the flip nicely here's the 47 just in some great detail lots of luster still left on it full steps here's the dance go take that plastic piece out and slide it right in we've got another spot in there nice really didn't think i was going to find it in this pile of goodies we've got here but let's just keep on looking through this and see what else we can find I gotta move the ones we've already been through out of the way somewhere. I'm put them somewhere. All right. We got this 46 plane. It's got two steps, I said. And I actually need this in my dance go too, so I'll be adding that right now. So, guys, there we go. Just put it in there. Nice addition to the collection for sure. Only got four more spaces to add coins to. But I, I doubt we're going to find those ones that we need in here. I, I keep saying that because I guess I don't know what's in this pile. But it's kind of true, to be honest. It's kind of true. I don't know what's going to be in here. Because I, I did just take them out. Hodgepodge late. Like, here's a penny, for goodness sakes. Uh, King George V, penny, 1932. Uh... I don't think it's that rare, but definitely rare in America to find Canadian cents. But uh, yeah, it's a nice designed Canadian cent. Liking the way it looks. Anyways, don't need to look at that. Uh, here's another 47. Another 47. S, uh, 42, uh, 52S. 
It's an interesting scent. A little break from Nichols, I guess. Here's a lamination peel on a 74 Denver. It's pretty cool. I was questioning whether or not it was a lamination error, but it is. We got a 48S. Do we need that? No, we already got one in the Dansko album. I guess I should check my uh, Harris Co. album and see if I need that. 48S, no, we don't need it, but it is low mid at 11.3 million. So definitely a hard one to get, but we already have it, so that's cool. Here's an 88S proof. Uh, it's definitely been in circulation for a while, so it's hard to tell that it is even a proof, but you can kind of tell that um, reflection. There we go. So 52S, I don't think we need that one, do we? Nope, we already have it in there. In the dance go, at least. Uh, here's a 58 plane. 61. It's just in good shape. That's why I kept it. Um, got a 41. It says it has full steps. I don't know if it does, though. Just zoom in. Uh, no, it doesn't. Well, you can kind of see them. So, yeah. It's got full steps and some steps on this outside the outside of the building too right there just a few so it's in good shape for sure this 41 plane do we need the 41 plane in the collection no we don't we already got one in there let's check the uh harris co album though 41 plane we've already got it in the collection so we don't need it but that's a really nice coin regardless it's good shape we got a 48S, low mintage, don't need that one, 53S, we don't need that one for the dance go, we already got it, it's a nice 38S, so we actually do, no we don't need this for the dance go, but we need this for the Harrisburg one, I might take this one out to be honest, to put it in the Harrisburg one. But, I don't know, it's just so much nice of condition. I kind of want to wait for a lower grade condition one. Like, maybe like one that looks like this. Like, there's a 38P at 19.5 uh, million. And 38S, I think, is that. Let me go check the mintage real quick. 38S, the mintage is 4.1 oh, million. And we definitely need that one for the book. So it's debatable whether or not I want to put it in there or not, but it's kind of a high grade example of a 38, so I'm not really sure if I want to put it in there. 38S, nice coin for sure. Definitely don't find those. Um, 40, this is a 76S proof. You can definitely tell that it's proof. Doesn't look like it's been in circulation that long, so. Kind of nice. You got a 47S low mint. It's really warm though. You got a 1940 in good shape. 40 plain. We don't need it for the dance go though. We've got one in there already. But that one's in really good shape for sure. We got a 39P once again. It says it has full steps and I'm pretty sure it does. This one's just really weirdly discolored. But it's in good condition overall. It's not really worn that much. And, I mean, it's got some luster still left on it, but not a lot. But like I said before, it's just discolored. But it does have steps on it, like full steps in the front of the Monticello. So that's very cool. Have a, I've definitely had that for a while, and I've liked the way it looks. Even though it's discolored, it's still a good coin in my opinion. Here's a 1948S. Another low mintage coin. Here's a 35 that I got a, paid a dollar for, so that was nice. It's kind of toned, actually. It's got this gold and purple toning to it, which is really nice. I really like it. That's probably why I paid a dollar for it. <laughs> Anyways, here's a 47S, 38 Philly, another low midget one. Pretty good shape, too. 1978 proof. 
a lot of proofs in here. All these all these nickels I found in circulation, except for a few ones I've bought and I've mentioned that I've bought them. Here's a blank planchet dime. It's pretty cool. And actually, what's interesting about it, it doesn't have any reading on the edge either. I don't know if you can even tell. But it doesn't have any reading on the edge. It's just a planchet before they did the reading part. It's a 53S. Uh, another 39 that's in a gorgeous, gorgeous shape. Might have to sell this one. It's in such good shape. If you need this one for your collection, definitely a winner for that spot. 39 Philly. Unfortunately, there is no DDR on the word Monticello or on the word five cents or the words five cents, but um, still a really nice coin. We got a 51 Denver. That one's really, really slick, but still, if you needed it for a spot in your collection, there it is. 1963 proof, another Philadelphia proof, an older style of proof that's not, um, there's no real like cameo on the um, on the cello, but still, it's a nice strike of a coin. Worth keeping, in my opinion. But that's it, guys. That's it for the filling up of the collection. I hope you enjoyed us doing this together. Anyways, hope you like the video. If you like it, subscribe if you're new for more content like this, or nickel hunts, or antiques searching for in any way, shape, or form. Um, I think I'll close this off on this note. Found this in circulation, and you can find things like this in circulation if you just look through the nickels, um, nickel boxes. You can find stuff like this. This is a 1916s buffalo nickel. It is lower than 10 million minted. I'm pretty sure, or maybe it's maybe it's a little bit higher than 10 million minted. But it's it's a low mintage coin regardless, and it's in such good shape, guys. So definitely coins you can find when coin roll searching for sure. Should bring this should give you hope to look through nickels if you aren't already. I think everyone should look through nickels to look for some pretty awesome stuff. I mean, we filled quite a bit of this book and everything like that, so definitely possible to get a lot of this stuff in your collection. Fill up those books. Feel good about yourself. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment down below your thoughts, maybe your favorite nickel out of this collection that I showed you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.